Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex, and uh, we're going to be playing some more Summon Knight Swordcraft Story today. This will be the 14th episode in our Let's Play. Um, from the last episode, we came on this mysterious island from this hole over here. See, here's the place we were at. Just going to break these boxes, see if we can get any materials from here. Doesn't look like it. But yeah, this... Basically, we um, came here... Ooh, some new enemies here, and I don't have any health. Oh my gosh, this is not... This is not a good idea. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use my magic, just because I'm that desperate to not die. <laughs> um, yeah, I forgot we fought a boss. We fought two bosses last episode. So, yeah, I ended up with no health at all. But anyways, um, we are now on this island that apparently there was some vortex and people were disappearing, so we came here to check it out, see what was going on. The guy, the mayor of this town, I think he was the mayor at least, came and thanked us, and he wanted us to stop by, but before we do that, let's go ahead into the inn, get some rest. Is there anybody here? You're from Western, aren't you? If you ever run into a guy named Beryl, tell him that Claire is mine and that he had better stay away from her. Oh, well that's interesting. The village girls think the mayor is a pervert, so now I, so now I wonder if he really is. Okay. Um, let's go upstairs, see if we can just go ahead and sleep in one of these. Doesn't look like we can sleep in that one. There's two kids here. My brother was so scared by the Deglian soldiers that he hid under the bed the whole time. I'd be scared too, those guys suck. Yeah, we found the Daglian soldiers, those guys with the uh, black armor and like purple purple uh, helmets and stuff. Yeah, we found one of those guys here. Oh. Oh gosh, do not want to be down there right now. <laughs> Ooh, there's a weapon shop. Let's take a look here. Oh. Just... Are we selling right now? Well, I mean, we're not really using that, so... Do we just sell stuff here? It's kind of lame. Huh, can't buy anything, just you know, we sell items. What's in here? Bandage, blah, blah, blah. Gold ring gives us 15 plus attack. Oh yeah, this is that necklace we wanted. Or I wanted. See if we can sell anything, make some money. Mm. I'm honestly gonna go ahead and uh, sell these two potions so we can get that. Because that's 15 to both, or 10 to both, which is really good. 10 to both agility and uh, attack, and that's what I, we've been leveling up in. So let's equip that. Gold necklace. Okay. I can't change equipment. Why can't I cha change my equipment? Whatever. Okay. He said he wanted us to go to his house. So he's the mayor of the town, so I picture he lives... Maybe here? Yeah, this is the mayor's house right here. Sorry about that, guys. That was my phone. But anyways. Um, so this is the mayor's house. It looks like he's not back yet. What do we do? Let's wait. I mean, we've already kind of walked around, checked out the town. We'll wait until he returns. Oh, you guys came here after all. Is that a problem? No, not at all. I'm sorry that I made you guys wait, Alex. How do you know my name? I got it from the cute girl there. A cute girl? Big bro? I'm just teasing you. Now, Alex, do you know the reason the Daglians came here? They were looking for some kind of special sir sword, weren't they? That's why they used the vortex to keep anyone from coming or leaving the island. Really? Did you just now realize that? Oh, excuse me. To tell you the truth, I kept the sword hidden from them. Really? I hid it so well that the Daglian soldiers couldn't find it at all. How cool! But now I can't remember where I hid it. Oh my... What? You put us through all you put us through all that for a stupid sword? Sometimes it's necessary to keep secrets from your friends as well as your enemies. Ugh. 
That's why no one knows where it is. I need your help to find it. Serious? I'm a little worried now. Well done! This is what the Diggly and Sol Okay, well, we found it, so there it is. This is what the Diggly and Soldiers were seeking. The Eastern Sword. Is this the same sword the lady gave me the other day in the labyrinth? It can't be. The Diggly and Soldiers have left the island, but they said that they'd return soon. I want you to take the sword back to Worcester and keep it safe. Make sure they never get it. I give this to Alex, the son of Shintetsu, the craft lord of iron. You knew? But what does the sword have to do with him? You seem to have trained as a craft knight. You haven't picked up on this yet? Do you mean... This is one of my... One of the swords my dad forged? That's right. Shintetsu made a great many of swords. But three of them were in a class by themselves. I can't let the Daegling soldiers have a single one of these swords. I discussed it with Master Rondeo. I decided that I can't keep the sword here now that the Daeglians know about it. But they came here and traded that vortex before I could get the sword off the island. I can no longer keep it safe here. How do you know Master Rondeo? I was once a pupil of Shintetsu. What? Is that true? Then do you know why my dad forged a sword like this? This sword is used for sealing off the great power of the Holy Spirit. I can't say any more than that. The only thing I can tell you is that your father was a true hero. I see. You've told me all I want to know for the moment. I'll take care of the sword for you. Yes, thank you. Well then, Alex and Sinari. You do your best in the tournament. Yes, we will. You got it. Now, let's return to Worcester. Okay, back at Worcester. If the Daglians are after the Eastern Sword, they'll also be after the Western Sword that I left with my mom. We must warn her right away. I honestly bet she already knows. Because, I mean, she was married to Shintetsu, our father. But, still, she probably knows the dangers that's kept within those swords. But honestly, the plot is picking up, it seems like. And I'm really enjoying it so far. It's been really interesting. Like I said in the last couple episodes, I'm really glad it picked up, honestly. Mom! Welcome home! Listen, Mom, the sword I gave you the other day, is that the one Dad forged? I heard that it's very important. The Deglians are hunting for it. If you keep it, your life will be in danger. I knew that. That's why I took it away from you. This sword has this spirit within it. But you're in danger. I'll be fine. I'm the wife of the Craft Lord of Iron, and I'm your mom. I'll protect your father's sword, whatever it takes. So, Alex, let me be close to him. Mom. Please. Zantac. Star. Now, Alex, give me the sword you have now. Huh? How did you know we have it? I told you already. I'm the wife of the Craft Lord of Iron, and I'm your mom. I know when you're hiding something from me. Yes. Don't worry, your mom will be just fine. Alright, I'll return to the workshop. Take care. Whatever it takes, I'll protect my mom. My dad's second sword. The mirror said that there were three of these swords altogether. But why are the Daglians after my dad's swords? What in the world happened three years ago? Star? Oh, it's nothing. Let's, let's go get some fresh air outside and we'll think about it. Where do I want to go? Um, let's see, we've already talked to Xantic, Sanary, not never talking to Beryl. Um, we've never really hung out with Razzy. Let's see what he has to go to say. What he has to say. Thank you, big bro. Huh? For what? I was so happy that you and Beryl came to rescue me. I was helpless and alone for a long time. To be honest, I almost lost hope in myself thinking like that. So thank you, big bro. It wasn't a problem. I just did what I was trained to do. That's not it. You knew how to you know how to feed a lot of army soldiers before rescuing me. Oh, anyway, big bro, what's that sword you have? Is it valuable? Yes, I heard that this is a sword that my dad forged. You might have heard about it too. They say it's powerful enough to seal away the a holy spirit. I did hear about it, but why would the Daglians want a thing like that? I don't understand. Me neither. But everyone worked so hard to keep the sword out of the hands to people who would put it in the... Uh, put it to bad uses. We need to be careful that we never try to use it like that for ourselves. Yeah, I understand. 
Riley believes in justice. I need to learn from him. All right, a new day. Are you there, Alex? Oh, what's up, Sinari? Nothing. I was just passing by and wanted to say hello. Oh, do you have anything to do today? Huh? No, I don't have any plans. What's up with her? Why is she asking me if I'm available? I see. I have a match today. So, if you have nothing better to do, you can come see my match? Yeah. You have a match today? No kidding. I'll go check it out. Thank you. I want you to watch me battle if you can. Sure thing. Earthquake? Another earthquake, I think? We've been having a lot of earthquakes recently. Ha! Got it. Yeah, I'm really getting tired of it. Rumor has it that the Kagura volcano may erupt, and lots of people are frightened of it. If the volcano erupts, and Worcester will be destroyed. Doesn't it bother you at all? If you're that worried, why don't you go ask crap words about it? Well, I'll see you later. Huh? Your sensor is next to the 12,080 small earthquakes this week alone? Most of them were minor tremors that caused that humans can't feel. You think a phenomenon is this phenomenon is abnormal? People all over the city are getting frightened by these earthquakes. Are the craft lords of, like Master Sakura and Rondio going to do anything to help us? Hmm. Yeah, that's right. Before we get too worked up, we should ask them first. Okay, let's go to Master Rondio's house. Let's do it. But first off, let's go talk to Rod and get some new techniques. Let's see if we can equip anything on the third slot yet. Why? Can't wait. I don't understand. Oh, Ron's not here. It's probably at my house. Which sucks, because now I have to run all the way back. Okay, actually, Ron's not here. Why is my third slot... I really... Uh, my third slot closed off. I hope that... I hope... That that's not some kind of glitch or something. Because I am playing on an emulator. Alright, let's go talk to Rondio and then we'll talk to Sucker. Alrighty. And here we are. I'm surprised I never heard about this game until recently. I mean, it seems like it's a really, really good game. Oh, it's you, Alex. Did you come to hear the tale of my epic bravery? Or to hear Shintetsu's story? Of course, Shintetsu's... Shintetsu's story is just a part of my own tale. You know you're in my story too, Zanzbeck. I'd like to hear it, but that's not the reason I came here today. Eurexa. Master Rondiu! Oh, what's going on, Eurexa? Eurexa. Oh, he's a craft lord of Jade. The researchers went and we sent to Kagaro or Kagro Island reported that the volcano is acting strangely. The underground shockwaves are causing earthquakes at a rapid pace. Some have even reported that they heard a groaning voice coming from the crater. Therefore, I'm thinking of going there myself to research the matter further. I see. Yes, it would help if you went. By the way, where are those researchers? I gave them a break. I see. Yes, and one more thing. Rexa, take this young boy with you. I knew that was going to happen. This boy? I remember you. You're the one from the craft. You're one of the craft knights in the tournament quarterfinals. But I wonder if I really should. Actually, this is Shintetsu's child. I'm sure that you can count on this little kid. I see. If Master Rondio tells me to, I will bring you with me. I have to get ready now, excuse me. So you are... I'm Alex. Do you have a ship? Uh... You can borrow bronze again. I'll ask him for you too, so don't worry about that. Thank you. Now, Alex, when you're ready, come to the port. I'll be there. Uh, alright. Excuse me, Master Rondio? You came here because you're concerned about the earthquakes, right? Well, yeah. That's good then. Just think of this as a practice before becoming a craft lord. Now get a move on. Yes, Master. Now I have to borrow the ship from Master Ron. Hmm. Well, I was actually kind of hoping we'd go to the Kagura Volcano, because I think it'll be interesting. But, uh... I really, 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 really want to find Ron and see if we can get some new techniques. Alright, now we're on the first floor. You can do that, guys, by the way, uh, if you use those stairs. But where is Bron? Maybe if we check back here. There he is. Excuse me, Master? Hey, Alex, you're here for a ship, ain't you? I heard from Sakura over there. 
Wow, he's fast. Now I understand why he became a crap lord. You can have my ship, but be careful. I promise not to hit anything with it. I'm not talking about the ship, I'm talking about you. Oh, right. And here's a new technique for you. Oh, yes. Take good care of Alex. Take good care of Alex, Antec. Let's get some new techniques from him. Um, gonna go with Knuckle again. Let's go crap. Crafting new weapons all the time. Okay, create materials if we can. Uh, ooh, weapon shard. Oh, that only gives us one to everything? That's weird. Large fish hook, though, that gives us 20 to everything. Uh, we can break these down. What does the spiral ring do? 17 attack? That's actually really good. Okay, uh, we have no weapons, current weapons, he gave us a new sword technique. Awesome, we can actually use it. Oh, we don't have enough. Oh, we can go buy those though, that's cool. Let's do the knuckle technique then, since... Alright, these ones look, look kind of interesting, they're not big and bulky. No, that's what I like, I don't like bulky weapons. Triple header. Oh, that's awesome! Ah, we can finally put things there. I was really starting to get worried for a second. Let's go buy some uh, stuff from the store, some materials, so we can make that new technique. Actually, let's get another knuckle technique from Ron. Or we can't. Let's do a spear technique. Yeah, I really, really like uh, how you can just keep going back and forth getting them. And I think in the game, like the difficulty stays really leveled, in my opinion. Okay. Yeah, no, we definitely need to buy get some new stuff. The difficulty stays really leveled, like, no matter how updated your weapons are. I think it's pretty matched up to your level pretty well. When I say your level, I mean, like, the level of your weapons. I don't know if that actually happens, or if that's just the luck of the draw that I've been getting. But whatever. Okay, portable canteen. Oh, we don't have enough money. Um... Guys, I'm gonna go and uh, farm some materials really quick on the 15th, 15th to the 20th floor. So I'll cut that out, and I'll uh, I'm just gonna cut it out real quick. Hey guys, okay, I just finished running around the labyrinth trying to pick up some materials. Um, honestly, deemed kind of unsuccessful. I don't know if we'll have enough materials to make the new sword, but we'll go ahead and take a look here. I was unable to grab some, but what I was thinking of while I was going down there is, why didn't I just, um, why didn't I just grab some materials when we were on the other, on other, on the other island? So, I don't know. Um, I was able to find a lot of, like, fire stuff, that's not what we need, and a lot of, uh, core part stuff. I got a big furball, though, that gave us quite a lot. Yet, see, then I have, like, a bottomless cup. So, yep. Nope, guys, I don't think we'll be, we'll have enough. Maybe we'll have enough to make a new, nope, guys, I don't think we'll be, we'll have enough. Maybe we'll have enough to make a new, um, knuckle type, though. Here's our swords. Yeah, we can't make it. We'll go ahead and look at our knuckle, see if we can make the new one. Nope. Oh, wait, did we even get... I think we got a new spear type. Was that it? Nope. Can't get it. Well, let's just go head back and uh, meet Eurexa at the port and then head off. We'll probably be able to get some good materials uh, while we're at the volcano, so that's cool. I'm really glad that we're able to actually... Uh, well, that we're actually getting out of Wistern. I thought the whole game was going to take place in here, honestly. Well, at least I was getting kind of worried. But then I do remember I'm only like six hours in. Just to wait. Oh, are you the... Be careful. Sometimes one can try to exceed in his capabilities and get infected with darkness. Jade must be captured in the darkness. Jade? Are you talking about Master Eurexa? <laughs> Being a hero doesn't mean he's a hero to everyone. I know another who is honored by no one because he turned in... Honored by n no one because he turned to the darkness for someone he believes in. 
Come back alive. A hero honored by no one? What does that mean? I didn't I honestly did not understand anything she just told us. Here you are. Your father, Master Shintetsu, took good care of my sister. Zantek, you too. I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I'll let my mom know about this. Please do so. By the way, do you know any heroes who are still alive? Huh? Shintetsu died and then became a hero. hero mu heroes must stay alive so they can see the smile of the people whose lives they s lives they save. One person who was once called a hero is still alive and talks about what it was like to be a hero. There's a town called Saijent, far south of here. I've heard, of th heard that they have a hero. Do you know anything about it? I don't know anything about it. Hmm, what is the story about? The hero is said to have saved a town from evil, even though it could have been a fatal disaster. Risking your life to save others? That's so cool. So I heard. I've always wanted to meet that hero. Heroes might not always be everyone's dar everybody's darlings. I want to know if heroes are able to remain true to themselves, even when there is great danger in danger, even when there is great danger to themselves and those they care about. Sorry, I cannot talk today. After Shintetsu's death, that hero is the only one I can ask. I'm sorry, I talk too much. Let's sail out now. Follow my ship. Kagro Volcano. Okay, let's go look at that book, see if there's anything in there for us. I gotta forge the last weapon. Okay, I don't know what that means. What is the last weapon? I'll, I'll look that up on the internet later, and I'll tell you guys what that means. Thanks for waiting for me, Master Eurexa. Hey, I've been thinking... I've decided that I'll just let I'll just go by myself. I'm sorry, Alex. What? Uh. You, hey, you. Are you awake yet? Ah, uh, what? Uh, ouch. You weren't just sleeping, were you? Uh, who are you? I'm Hayato from a town called Sigent. Nice to meet you. Saijin is the town where hero Urex the hero Eurexa was talking about. What happened? Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Alex. Nice meeting you. This is Zantek. Oh, nice meeting you all. What an odd-looking summon, be summon beast. Anywho. Anyhow. I don't know what you're doing here, but... I think the guy who knocked you out must have been very strong. You better get back home before you get hurt anymore. Nevertheless, I must do research on the volcano here. I see. I think that guy that guy probably must have had some reason to knock you out knock you unconscious. In any case, I think you'd be better you'd better stay and wait here. Oh no. It's your decision though. Now please excuse me. Who was that? Oh, where is Master Eurexa? Let's go find him. I need to know why he knocked me out. Yeah, what a dingus. All right. I like the music here. What's this? Ooh. Materials. Yeah, guys, I'm going to be breaking everything in sight. New enemies, too. Oh, guys, I figured out how to do the spinning move with the spear. You press over and then up. Like, if you've ever played a Street Fighter game, you know how you uh, shoot Ryu's? Or uh, Ryu's Hidokens, how you press down and then over. Basically, flip that upside down and press over, then up, and you'll do a swinging motion with your uh, spear. You'll spin it around. It's really cool. Really, really useful, too. Alrighty. See, look. It gets two hits in, and see, like, it's, it's not as useful when it's just when you're attacking just one. Like, when you have, uh, like, an enemy on each side, it's really good to use against them. Look at how fast we can run with these on. Alright. Oh, man, I thought that guy was dead. 
giving us about 800 experience, not bad. I really, really like the look of this volcano. Definitely a nice change from the labyrinth. I mean, the labyrinth looks cool and all, but I mean, I don't know. I just get kind of anno uh, not annoyed, but tired of it. Ah. I was trying to hit both of them at the same time right there. I really like this murder pole, too. The long range is great when you actually know how to use the spiral spinning move because then you can uh, get short range uh, attacks on two enemies at once. And then you can also stay back. Oh my gosh. I wish we had that new sword that we um, that we got the technique for. I kind of went crazy with uh, making weapons last episode. If you finish off your combos with the knuckles with that uppercut, I know I've talked about this before, but if you do that... Um, Oh, we got a new magic thing, too. Just one second. Enchant Flare. I like that. Um, I guess we'll keep Enchant Flare, but we'll have to save it. You know what? We'll go back to Enchant Spark, actually. And when we like know a boss fight's coming up, we'll switch over to Enchant Flare. Hey, there's a uh, Hayato. Anything down here? No. Of course, a random encounter's down there, though. But yeah, if you finish it off with that uppercut, it uh brings him down to the ground, stunned, and then so you can uh, get in another attack on him. And that's what I was talking about last episode. Those like endless combos you can get with the knuckles. Okay, got a lot of enemies here. See, this is where the spear shines, when you can attack two of them at the same time, multiple enemies at the same time with the spear is great. And also, it has a good enough speed that there's not really any downtime, so you can, um, you can like, interrupt their attacks, throw in a new agility. Oh, what's that? Be quiet. I didn't expect the volcano to be this active. Even you, Master Lubert, couldn't have foreseen this. Master Eurexa and Lubert? I wonder if Maxador and Lubert is also here to do research on the volcano. Hmm. We must first bring Shintetsu's sword outside. Yeah, that's right. We came here to do this without Rondio or his craft lord flunkies finding out about this. We've waited long enough for the excitement to die down. It's important for us to collect the swords and give them to the Deglians. Wait a second. Don't you think it's too early to give it to the Deglian just yet? Eurexa, you young boy. I don't know what you're plotting, but if you but you will fail if you let too much show in your body language. But, Master Lubert, let me take care of this. Don't worry. Your wish shall come true if it's all goes to if it all goes according to my plan. We'll hand the Deglians the sword now. And they will remember us for our fine work. They'll provide us with good jobs there. Eurexa, we shall begin now. Damn it. Lubert, he's just a puppet of Deglia. No one can stop us now, sister. What is going on? What are they plotting? The sword they're talking about must be my dad's. Is that right? I wonder if he's got if it's got special powers since it's been hidden from people. Yes, I heard it conceal the power the powerful holy spirit, but those men are important public figures in my hometown. Do you think they'll do anything bad? No, they won't. You need to know the facts. Dagley is a small country, but it has a uh, powerful military presence. It can't be good th can't be a good thing to hand a sword with hidden powers like that over to a warlike nation. But if it's too early to be jumping to conclusions, for now you're better off doing something about that sword instead of researching the volcano. Let's catch up with him and ask him about it. Let's get going. Who is this Hayato person? I mean, he or she is nice. Either way, where do these portals go? Over here. Oh my gosh, what is that? 
oh, guys, I figured out if you break your weapon in combat, it's broken forever. Like, need a heal. But yeah, if you that's why we couldn't equip something, because we didn't have any other weapons. So, yeah, try not to break your weapon in combat. That's bad. Oh, my gosh, this guy does crazy good damage. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Okay, that takes care of that. Yeah, that's right. You better give me a thousand experience for dealing with that. Core parts. Ooh, core parts are good. Klotzen potion. Oh my gosh, I need to heal again. All right, we'll we'll uh, bust out the spear for this one. Oh gosh. Alrighty, that takes care of those guys. Um, guys, I honestly think I'm going to end the video now, but right, honestly, the story right now is so exciting that I don't want to stop. So I think I'm going to upload two videos today, part 13 and 14. So I will see you guys in a couple minutes. <laughs> um, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Hit the subscribe button. Be sure to watch the next episode, and we'll unfold what's going on with the Orexa and... Lubert. And yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and have a good night or a good day wherever you're watching this from. And most of all, game on.